just trying to win arguments through science and evidence is getting ever harder to do. Of course, we need the science and evidence on our side. But the whole reason we campaign is because just having the science and evidence is never enough. If only it was. We wouldn't have to campaign if, if to be honest, if, we, if decisions were made rationally just on the basis of science and evidence, they're not. And that's why we have to campaign. All I can say to you that people powered change works. I am part of that history. I go to schools now and talk about it. But they thought that we had a little army. We have a major army now. Let them come. 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 Protesting is fundamental to democracy, fundamental to campaigning, and we need to uphold that as well. I actually do not think that it's uh, the problem that we don't have the solutions or that governments don't know about it. I think that the real problem is that, is that governments and corporations are refusing to implement the solutions. Friends of the Earth, not only here in, in the UK, but has a global federation and that's really important to be able to have this incredible global federation working around uh, preventing a breach of 1.5. We uh, are trying to um, take on corporate power and trying to get Shell to uh, stop wrecking the climate. expensive yeah, yeah. Um, you know if you eat a good amount of vegetables you know you're not gonna feel a lot better but you know your, your waistline's gonna feel better your wallet's gonna feel a lot better so yeah, yeah definitely so many reasons for you guys more appetite actually more and more people are asking how come we can live in a world where a handful of men could own as much income as half a 3.5 billion people how come last year that 82 percent of all the wealth that was created in the world went to the top one percent and the bottom three and a half billion people abs received absolutely nothing inspiring to say that we want to reduce the painfulness of what we're going to face. Solving, actually solving humanity's problems is also the way to solve global warming. So let's not hold back when we set this goal.